boy oh boy where do I start here hey guys so first off I wanted to just start out by saying you may notice something different or at least you may uh, notice something different right now look at this I got the new camera thingy and it's shooting in 4k 60 FPS right now. I know it's wide angle. It's gonna get it's gonna take some time to get used to but it's always nice to try some new things now and again and uh, I mean look at it 4k 60 FPS. I can move my hands around and like do stuff I don't know. I'm super excited and thanks to my uh, patreon subscribers for having that happen. You can Here they are over there but basically the way I have this planned is This is wide angle and then when I want to go zoomy I use the zoom thing and then I can go back to there or back to there, you know, switch, 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 switch. I regret doing that because I'm going to have to go in and edit the switching and switching in. Okay. Also, the elephant in the room is the fact that I hit 10,000 subscribers the other day. Ah, look at that. Wow. Okay. We hit 10,000 yesterday and it's at 10,123 now. That's pretty impressive. I'm not sure what that jump is. The most recent video with the AI has been doing very well. 7,000 views. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good considering I wasn't really happy with that video very much, so that's always funny how that works. Anyways, let's go on to talk about what's actually happening here, okay? Um, we're gonna go ahead and remove from the tripod. I know it's scary. I know some of you guys don't like this. <gasps> what's this? This is the topic of the video and let me let me get to that because I haven't planned myself at all here and that's an issue. Okay, I did that video a little bit back where I basically I, I wanted to buy some fursuit cosplay paws for cheap on eBay. And basically I wanted to test them out. Here, I still have them. Here they are. Right here. And I ended up giving away a pair. That was a lot of fun. And I mean yeah, it was overall it was a good video. Um it was pretty popular. I think that has like it's one of my most popular videos to date. It was pretty great, although there are some downsides to these paws. My main thing is my hand is larger than the paws themselves, so they don't fit. I mean, they're, they're really nice, honestly, but they're not custom. There's no custom twist on them. It's not like, hey, I can say these are custom made for me. Um, so basically what I wanted to do, and I had planned this out a couple months ago, I think. What I wanted to do is get a custom pair of paws made. Ooh, gross. You can see my reflection. Let's not do that. I wanted them to be on the cheaper side, cost-wise. Furry cosplay stuff is really expensive. Always really expensive. Always been, probably will be for quite some time. Cheaper stuff is still typically relatively expensive, all things considered. One of my friends, Hugh, tweeted about a budding maker who um, they were getting their, they were getting something from and they just wanted to like, they just want to give them a shout out type deal. So I saw that and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just go for it. I believe the total was about $70, which by the way, if anybody's wondering, that was all my money, no Patreon money was uh, involved in that. Anyways, $70, which some people watching this, especially the, um, I don't know, I don't want to say uninitiated, but you might be like, wow, that's a lot to spend on a pair of paws. But I mean, if you think about it, not really. I don't really need to list any reasons why somebody would want to get these paws, because if you want, if you want these paws, you already know why. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> that literally makes no sense. I'm just trying to find the best bang for your buck while not having to involve child labor or like freaking not paying artists enough. I got a deal here. This same sort of thing might be a little bit more expensive by the time you come around because I know Tall Tale Creations was sort of just doing the practice run. I haven't really fully opened up the package yet, so I figure we can go over there and do that. You know what just occurred to me? I didn't do the special effects where it like phases in. Um, my god. It must be satanic. Just Avery, future Avery, roll a clip of the boxes floating, like track a paw above it, and have it float around. My God. It must be satanic. Great. Um. So that should be good enough. Now, basically, here, let's just. I'm gonna. We, we stood up. That was a lot of exercise, I know. Let's sit back down. I was pleasantly surprised to find that the box has some instructions in it. It's washing instructions. I don't think I showed any freaky information on that. Okay, now, the $5 paws, those were good paws. These, though, are in a completely different ballpark. These are fat fats. You guys might remember um, from many videos ago, 
I did this thing where I was talking about fat, fat paws, where they're just big paws. And um, I think these qualify. These are pretty dang big. Okay. Paid $70. I can throw the box if I want to. Okay. These are the paws. Now, what what I was going for here is, um, see this guy right here? Rainbow fingers, okay? This is crucial. This is crucial to the design of me. These $5 paws, they're just, they're not custom for me, right? So I wanted them to be a little bit iconic because that's the whole point. They took several months, I think. Um, that's not tall tales fault at all it's just i mean it's an intensive process and it was really great to get updates and stuff when i opened this up the first time i was blown away at how nice quality these things are how large they are which is obviously not the most important thing well okay uh, i like fat fat paws it does <laughs> insert whatever joke you want here the point is i like them i like them a lot so with these sort of things it's always super difficult to put them on. I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but fingers are like snakes or noodles attached to your hand. And it's like sort of difficult to get that all figured out there. Those in the audience who have the ability to count will notice that there are four paws, uh, four beans on here. And I have five fingers. What do you do with that? Well, it's just a matter of working them in. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're back now. We're recording. Hi. Where was, what was I talking about here? Here this thing is, okay? Check them out. They're big. They're fat fats, they're comfortable. Um, I, it's, there's this big like pillow right here, which is like, when you look at one of these things, typically, at least for me, what I was thinking is like, oh wow, that looks sweaty. It looks not necessarily super pleasant, but I mean, this is nice. It's like your hand is being hugged. The beans look all good. They look actually very similar to my um, t-shirt on here. A good video I think would be trying to do things with these paws on. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know because I think that'd be interesting. Because see here, the problem with fat fats, there's no, okay. It's totally worth it, but my mouse is ergonomic. I have a trackball on it, okay? I care about my health and safety. And as you can see here, it's sort of difficult to um, control that. Crash is always trying to eat a pizza with this thing on. I don't understand how that works. Obviously this has nothing to do with these pair of paws in particular freaking it's the human body and how it works with fingers because i can move these two really well these two though i think it's gonna it takes practice okay that being said let's see can i separate this use these two fingers okay that's good this is a terrarium thing i'm trying to do it's really gross right now don't look at that but let's see can i can i open it nope now it just has hair on it. This, of course, is one of those things where if you're watching it and you're like, wow, I would love to have those to do my various furry things with them. You probably would like these. You probably would enjoy this. If you watch it and you're like, that's cool, but I'm not, that's probably not my thing. Not sure if you would enjoy it because it's not your thing. I'm really saying quite obvious things here. Forget what I was just saying there because that was pretty obvious. What I'm trying to say is for me, <laughs> Whenever I, if I tried to do like my hand gestures and stuff in this thing, it's a little bit different. It's hard to use your hands as anything more than just fluffy meat sausages. I personally would personalize that it's worth it. Shout out to Tall Tail Creations for, for letting me commission these. I mean, they spent weeks working on these, months actually, but $70 is rather significant money, but I mean, it's totally achievable, which is why I think something like this is a great option whether it's from tall tale or it's from just somebody starting out or even you buying the supplies and giving it a shot yourself you know it's something to look into if you want that custom touch that being said the um i'm not gonna hate on the five dollar things i mean you know or were they ten dollar they were they're great for the price and this is a pretty positive experience and i like these because they're fat fats and i'm gonna thanks that's it for now i have more really interesting stuff coming out in the future here it's gonna be super fun super interesting if you enjoyed this you should subscribe and you should watch some of my other stuff big shout out to the people who've donated my live streams before in the past and my patreon supporters who made the purchase of this new camera possible um, Jamie, Josh, Dex, Empathy, Lee Rod, Magic, Ocelot, um, thank you. And thanks to the people who've subscribed, because 10,000 is a pretty large number. You can find me on Twitter, okay? You can find me on Twitter, and you can also follow me on Vimeo, um, where I post these videos. Um, but I believe they're in higher quality than the YouTube compression. So if you want to see um, 4K 60 FPS at the full highest bit rate possible, go over there. Goodbye.
talk soon. This is super exciting. Now going to attempt to record a video with these on both hands. It was a nightmare getting them on both hands. <laughs> Let's zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Hello people, my name is Avery Miller. What I could do is just film like this and then just replace all my videos with just a picture of like this. Like that. Let me try to turn it off now.